Putin is preparing for aggression against Moldova and the Baltic countries. A full-scale war of the Russian Federation against Ukraine has entered a critical period. However, President Vladimir Putin still believes that there is no turning back and he is ready to continue aggression for a long time. Moreover, the Kremlin has plans for other countries, stated in the column of the head of the Foreign Intelligence Service of Ukraine, Alexander Litvinenko, for Interfax Ukraine. Litvinenko notes that the 21-month war of Russia against Ukraine has entered a critical period. Therefore, much depends today on carefully assessing the adversary's intention. In the column, he describes how the Kremlin currently perceives this war. Vladimir Putin believes that by failing to defeat Ukraine in a three-day large-scale war, the Kremlin has reached a point of no return in relations with the West. For him, there is no turning back. Putin can only either triumphantly win or be devastatingly defeated. The Kremlin believes that bringing back Ukraine and the rest of the historical Russian lands and restoring the empire can only happen within the framework of a global redistribution of the world. According to his calculations, such a process may take 10 to 15 years, accompanied by conflicts of various scales and intensities, possibly involving nuclear weapons. At the same time, the war against Ukraine is currently perceived by the Kremlin as an important but not the only front for Russia, which is essentially waging a global war against the United States and the West as a whole. Given the above approach, the Kremlin is currently considering four tasks. Ensure internal stability, form an alternative coalition of states to the West, prepare for further aggression against other countries, stoke conflicts in the Middle East, Africa and the Balkans. Putin is preparing for future aggression by Russia against other countries. Currently, the priority is Moldova and the Baltic countries, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia and the entire western part of the former USSR.